Welcome back. Um, welcome back to the Bugmark Manager Challenge. I am um, about to record my screen doing the next um, bit of work. Um, so far I've done the first uh, 15 news stories, I'm about to do uh, the next one. Um, and uh, we're doing one to many relationships. Um, so hopefully I'll get through this in the next one, which is the many to many relations. I'll probably do a little bit of refactoring uh, to reorganize my app um, as well. Um, let's see what uh, this is going to, to, to mean that we have to do. So to create this challenge, we will need to uh, complete, complete, create a new table for comments to make sure we have an ID and a text. Um, and it has to um, be associated with the bookmarks table. We're going to use a foreign key, the bookmark ID, um, and we're going to make sure it's a reference. Um, we allow users to create comments and bookmarks and display those comments below each bookmark. Okay, so we're going to start off with a feature test and just let that drive everything. So let's go to our, uh, our feature uh, folder um, and let's create uh, here and put it into bookmarks um, and let's just whack, just move all those there because we're about to do comments. Um, so let's do, um, first of all, um, Let's do create, creating, create bookmark, create, create comments, spec dot rb. Um, and here we're going to require our spec helper. Uh, let's double check I haven't broken any links, that's all fine. Um, we're going to require a spec helper and let's go back to this, this one here. Let's have a look at this. Creating comments, if it's a valid comment, I uh, can add a comment uh, to a bookmark and see it on the page. So uh, we're going to visit the bookmarks URL, uh, which means we need to already have some bookmarks. So let's create a comment. Um, and boom, before we can create our BBC link, I'm going to visit bookmarks, and that's where we should see uh, an ability to make a comment. So what we're going to do, should we just have another form underneath, like a little info filter, all our, all our um, bookmarks have a little input field underneath them. So you don't have to go to another page, it's just there with the form that submits it. Right, let's do that. I probably mm -hmm. want to create another page. Uh, so it's like a link to another page, to like a form, and uh, uh, which is like what we bought with, with the update. So yeah, let's do, let's do it that way. So we'll, we'll, we'll expect to fill in, um, and we might have to scope it. Uh, let uh, bookmark um, be a bookmark. So here we're going to say fill in um, uh, comment text. Um, with a test comment. Then we're going to say uh, submit, expect page to have content, a test commit. Uh, and what are the, the flash messages? Not necessary and still feel the same. Um, invalid. Let's not worry about the invalid scenario just yet. Just get it as a valid comment. There's no validation at the moment. 
Um, okay, so let's run this test and see how far we get. Uh, bundle exec rspec spec features uh, comments and create comments spec. Now you will find the old comment text, so let's go add it to our view. This is in our index, and uh, here we have a link to the edit. This is the link to the bookmark, um, and then this is the but the delete button. So uh, let's add in another form here. Um, that's going to go to um, slash. Let's grab that because I'll need it. Um, I missed out that part. So rather than go to the bookmarks, we want to go to the comments and we want to get to the bookmark ID. Um, oh, okay, hold on. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? We want to go to, we want to post it to. Um, bookmarks ID slash comments. That's what we want to do. We're going to post it and here we're going to um, have our submit uh, two, two input fields text uh, the, the name of which is going to be uh, comment text. We don't need a value. We empty, and then we'll have an input field as a submit. And the value is going to be submit. Okay, so this should be a little form that we can submit, uh, and that's going to post to bookmarks bookmark ID comments root. So let's um, uh, uh, run that test again. Um, so expect to find a test comment because I posted it and we don't have the root yet. So let's go here and add in a post root for our uh, bookmarks, the ID and comments. That's the URL that we're posting to. Um, and here is where we have to uh, store uh, the, uh, the the comment and the post. I want to do something like um, um, do, 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 do. I'm in the right book with the ID. Let me just double check I'm sending it across correctly. I'm getting the right bookmark. I need the bookmark ID so I can associate it with the right thing. Um, and so I need to do a flyby first. We get the right bookmark, um, and then I need to create a comment. Um, so I want to do something like this: uh, comment dot create, um, and text is uh, params comment text. Um, and I have to add in the bookmark ID uh, of um, params. I already got out the params bookmark ID. Um, and then I want to redirect back to the bookmarks. So get the right bookmark because uh, I sent it across in the, uh, as form data, grab it from params, use that to create comment and associating it. Uh, and we need to figure out how the table looks like in a second. Um, then we redirect book to bookmarks. Cool, we don't have comments, so let's now create a unit test. Uh, uh, comment spec. Let's have a look at here, and uh, we're probably going to need a lot of this, so let's just take everything and dunk it. Comment, 
we'll need a DB connection, describe comment. Um, at the moment, I don't need any of this. Uh, I'll need it in a second. So I will, I'll, I'll bring it back if I need it. Do, 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 do. I want, do I want, I don't, I'm not doing any validation. I am not doing any validation. So I am just, uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, really, I should, but I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. Okay, keep it super simple. We can always add it in later. Um, uh, describe, create, return to bookmark instance, a comment instance that has persisted. Comment, uh, we need a bookmark first. So, um, uh, okay, uh, let's make sure we have both here models. Um, um, uh, bookmark. So then uh, beforehand, uh, I want to no, let's see the let uh, bookmark is uh, bookmark dot create and we need a URL and we need a title. So let's have a look at actually what we've done so far. Let's just basically use that. Um, It's like, what have we done there? Um, do, 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 do this one and this one. Okay, so I create a bookmark and I make sure it happens before the test runs. Um, and then associate it here. Uh, comment, we don't need any of that. We just need text and um, Yay, comment and associated with bookmark.id. So that has to be bookmark ID. Then we, we uh, this is a comment spec for the create method. Um, so I don't need uh, this. Um, I just need to return the comment and expect that comment dot uh, id uh, not to equal nil really which mean which will mean it's persisted um, I guess I could also do uh, I expect Comment, uh, comment dot text to equal yeah comment um, let's start off there. I might change this uh, later, uh, but I want my create method to uh, return to me as a comment, um, and if it has a non-nil value, we should have persisted it. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's run the spec. Uh, bundle exec R spec spec unit and then comment spec. Uh, cannot load such file at models comment because it doesn't exist yet. Comment dot rb. Um, and in this file, um, let's just grab that stuff. Um, I don't need uh, that anymore. Um, so I can actually get rid of that PG require statement. I just need that file. Let me just double check. It is in, yep, cool. So comment, class comment, include database connection. The moment I'm not doing this, I don't need to worry about it. And the moment I'm not doing it, I need to worry about it. Um, and I'm using the create method with just the text field. And here I want to not worry about if it's valid or not. Um, I'm 
going to return a comment. Um, so I do this at the end of now at the moment. Um, and uh, the ID note that's happening here, isn't it? Uh, get rid of that. Uh, results, we do insert into comments and just text and bookmark ID. And we do values of text and a bookmark ID. And the bookmark ID is going to be there and the text is going to be here. And returning ID, text and bookmark ID. No. Interesting. What do I, how am I going to return it? I'm going to return it as, uh, I don't want to put, no, um, for the moment, let's just keep it like ID and text. Uh, we set it, we take the result out, map through it, and uh, we do ID is row ID, text is row text, and that is it. And we get the first one out to return it. So we'll have an instance and we'll have an instance. Um, run ask again. Okay, undefined method map for nil class. So insert into comments, clearly something's happening here. And the error message we get from the PG says comments do not exist because it doesn't exist. So let's migrate our schema, our database, and have a table. So let's create a new migration. Uh, three add table comments um, and with text and uh, 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 reference in references bookmarks dot rb and let's grab all this uh, uh, and here's what we change and we're going to create table comments and I need to create a table comments. Uh, how am I doing this? How I did it here? Uh, create table if, yep, fine. Uh, create table if not exists. Oh, I should do all with like alter table if not exists, but fine. Let's go. Uh, create table if not exists. It's like change, change up, change down. I shouldn't execute it. Essentially, if, I, if I've already done it, I don't want to run it again. And that will always add a column to call title. All right, I'll double check that in a second. Okay, uh, create table if not exists, and I'm calling it comments. I need more stuff into it. So I do is uh, just essentially column name and then information. Okay, um, in here, column name, the first one is gonna be ID, comment ID, um, and this is gonna be a serial primary key. Next one's going to be uh, text, and this is going to be, what did it say? Uh, Varkar 200. Um, and then we have um, a bookmark ID, and what is it gonna be? It has to be a an, an number uh, or reference. It's not going to be a serial because zero is auto incremented. It's just an integer, right? Just an integer, and it has to. Uh, how, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it. Uh, reference. It's going to reference the table. How do I do this? Google it. Google. Google. Uh, Postgres. Uh, references. Table. Maybe. Um, Postgres docs. Uh, references, foreign keys, there we are, boom. Cool, this 
table products has a product number which is the primary key to a name which is a tax field and price was numeric and we have a table orders that has its own primary key and product number this references the table above it so it's an integer type references the other table specifically the column name okay so references and then references bookmarks and then ID Da, 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 da. Okay, I think that's what I need to do. ID text. Why did it say it had to be 240? 240 text field. All right, let me. Text. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's a text field. And let's double check. Um, Postgres data type text. Uh, sure. Uh, text, please. Variable length character string. Yeah, okay. We got it, but I want to... <sighs> Data type. Yeah, okay. But how do I change it? I can't. You know what I'm saying? This is variable length character string. All right, let's do this text field. I'm not worry about it. Um, type text. Uh, but my pencil. Okay. Um, let's write it. Better, better, better. Boom, boom, boom. Bundle. Exact. No, just Ruby. Uh, really, DB migrations numbers three, please. And what environment? And it's going to be rack env test. Um, cool. And let's run that again. Uh, argument comment returns an instance that's persisted. Comment line nine. Um, <laughs> because I don't have an initialize method. Dad, initialize. I was like, what is going on? Uh, ID and text. Um, and uh, ID and text. Edward. And is that what I need to do? Uh, comment create cannot truncate a table. Reference in a foreign key uh, constraints. Hey, truncate tables at the same time. We we'll use truncate cascade. That's cascade. Um, and that's going to be my config database cleaner truncate table bookmarks cascade. Uh, Truncate cascades table comments. This is just telling me. Great, thank you. But really, I should just uh, let's do it neatly. Connection execute truncate table comments. Probably could just find out all the table names and then just run through them, truncating them. That'll be better, wouldn't it? Uh, Postgres, find table name, find all tables in database. Information schema. Oh, interesting. Tables. Let's have a look. Yes, you are. Connect to demo test. 
Put everything from tables. <laughs> what? The Sorry, can't be bothered. Every day we manage for to your database. Where can I get what? My table schema. It's public. Great, that's all I wanted. Let's do that. Uh, ba -dum, ba -dum, bam. Select table name from information where table name is public. Now I get the result. And then I do uh, I'm assuming I can just map through it again, right? But rather than map, I need to return the edge to each row. Don't know what it's going to look like. Each do row. Um, and what I want to do is truncate table row and then grab something out of it. I don't really, really don't know what it's going to be. Table name, table name, probably table name. Um, table name. Well, let's just have a look at the row. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, table name, table name, comments, and bookmarks. Cannot truncate a table with reference to the foreign key constraint. Nice. Okay. Um, so it's doing them in the wrong order. It's doing. Uh, It does comments first and then bookmarks. Because it's printing both out, comments and bookmarks. DB connection execute. Truncate table. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Uh, truncate the table row table name. If I just add the cascade, it will still roll through all of them, right? Great. Um, I'm happy. Uh, it's still printing that out as a notice. Um, Truncate cascades table comments, um, but that is fine. Okay, so then we go back to unit comments like line 12. Uh, it's a feature test, unit comment line 12. Comment ID not to equal nil. Undefined method ID. I need reader methods on my on my uh, attribute reader on ID and text. Kabam! Okay. Uh, feature test. Comments. Great comment spec. Did you mean bookmark manager comment? Okay, so I need to make sure I've required that. So feature bookmark if I require my spec helper, I guess in my app, I need to have models comment. Um, do, 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 that's not helpful. Um, where do we get to? 
let's try here. So print the bookmark. And we get the right bookmark, no errors. Um, and let's have a look at the comment. We get the right comment as well. Cool. All right. So we get we get the right stuff. Um, uh, so the create comment spec. Feature test. What's my feature test reading? There's. If I do my feature test comment, click on comment to submit to have content because I'm not showing up on the page yet. So uh, this is asserting that I create a comment and see it on the page. So um, let's just make this work. This is creating and also viewing comments, right? So the next part of this is to um, uh, this is the test I'm, I'm making sure it works. I can't see it, so I have to go to my index uh, view. And um, what I want to show um, comments. Um, Let's show them below at the bottom. So here we want to loop through all of the bookmark comments. Um, so I want to do something like this, where I take, I'm on the bookmarks, so I do bookmark.comments and loop through them. Um, each do comment and uh, display them. So do I have a, a wrapper around? I do here. Um, and let's not worry about the ID just yet. Um, so then let's close this div. And inside of it, I want to have a paragraph that has embedded into it um, uh, I want to have the comment text. So if I'm using this comments method, um, I need to uh, um, test drive it. So let's have bookmark dot uh, my unit spec. Let's have a describe um, comments do an end and um, it um, returns an array of comments. So I create a bookmark. Um, let's use the create method. We create one. I'm using bookmark because you describe class. I don't know why I was anyway. Uh, we're going to describe class. We don't need the, the ID then, um, and therefore we need a real one. Um, uh, call it BBC. Create URL and bookmark. 
and then we want to create a comment say uh, comment dot create and then we do text is uh, test comment and the bookmark ID is bookmark dot ID and they should be therefore related we have the comment here let's store it and um, uh, we expect that uh, bookmark dot comments to include comment maybe um, let's start there They may not equal each other quite correctly because they are different objects, even though they are represent the same row. Um, let's see how far we get with this test. Um, I am in my bookmark spec, so go back to the units. Let's do bookmark spec line 108. I'm going for comments. Go to bookmark. Let's go to def comments. And here we do. Um, uh, we want some of these. Um, I'm going to make a connection, say, uh, select. Uh, everything from comments where ID is equal to where bookmark ID is equal to The ID of this bookmark and then we comments and we have to create the comment comment dot new and get a bunch of information from it and this will be text at the moment we don't need the bookmark ID. I want to let's select all sorts of uh, rows text and let's keep it like that for the moment. I might need to add to it later. Okay, so this requires access to the comment class. So let's add it in require uh, same thing please just require relative yeah comment undefined method map for our models but line 69 this one here result select everything where bookmark select everything from comments where the bookmark ID is equal to the current ID. I feel like that is fine. So what's happening from my spec needs to become line 112. My unit spec for bookmark 112. Here. Okay, so I create a bookmark. Let's double check what the bookmark is at this point in the time. 
Hey. What? Error relation comments does not exist. How did I just made it? PSQL. Select everything from comments. What? Um. I should. Which one did I just connect to? Connect to demo test. Yeah, okay, a test comment. What's going on there? So it's quit and let's run that test again. We're running a unit spec. Bookmark line 108. And it's saying relation comments does not exist. So everything from comments was unlocking is 151. Oh, because I've got a spelling. It was spelling. Are uh, we in here? Two, no, here. Big pecan. Nice. Okay. So yes, it's checking on the wrong thing. So in my uh, bookmark spec, expect comments. So I can't just say it includes it. Uh, expect length uh, to equal one in this case. And what else can I insert on? Um, expect comments, the first one. dot text to equal this. That's fine. That gives me enough confidence. I guess yeah, that's fine. Can returns, can returns, returns, it returns no comments. Okay. So bookmark.comments because I was going to here and I was trying to do comments for each to get comment text out. Um, so let's go back to my feature test. Create a comment. Can add a comment to a bookmark and see it on the page. Nice. So let's go back and check the uh, instructions. Uh, allow users to create space comments for each bookmark. So let's actually have a look to see what, what, what it looks like. Let's go rack up. Localhost 9292. Refresh. Refresh. No, it doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. Undefined method map 69 bookmark. If there are no bookmarks, is that why? Let's double check bookmark.comments. So if there are none, So I have got bookmarks, but with none, with no comments, quite naturally. As a result, I could just add in this comment section, I 
I want to know. I want to know what it is. Let's print the results. And let's let's have a look at what's going on there. Relation, relation constant exists because I haven't um, migrated to my development database. Um, so uh, that's what did I do? Um, I did uh, uh, Ruby and then like zero three. This one. So let's go development. Cool. Then let's go rack up. Okay, not the neatest thing in the world, but each of my bookmarks have forms I can like write things on. So if I wanted to do to be like uh, comment submit. And the BBC has comments. Another comment. Uh, another comment. Yahoo! Um, cool. I'm not worried about styling, moving things around the page. I've got my main, add, add a bookmark form at the top. I have a uh, my bookmark that I can a link to. I can, I can uh, add comments using this form. I can go to an edit page to edit this link, or I can delete the whole thing. If I delete the whole thing, Goodbye. <laughs> um, it's clearly the delete. I need to force a delete and with all its corresponding um, things. So let's 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 add a feature test for that. Um, um, delete bookmark spec. Uh, can I delete a bookmark. Um, can delete a bookmark with comments. Bookmark, uh, I'll have two of those. Um, and let's create a uh, comment on the second one. Um, so I'm going to change these to let bangs. Uh, bookmark. And bookmark two and let comment uh, be comment dot create with a text of a comment and a bookmark ID of bookmark two dot ID um, just double check I am deleting the first bookmark nice and so okay it's a book bookmark with comments I'm going to get all of them I don't need this anymore now I already have now these stored bookmark 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 and then I go bookmark two bookmark 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 two so in the second one again don't need this anymore visit the visit the bookmarks expect the page to have both of them and bookmark, 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 bookmark. Um, within the div, no. That's well. That's fine. Within div, bookmark two. I did. I've scoped them with IDs. I should have scoped them differently, like bookmarks and then ID. Anyway. Um, Expect page not to have 
uh, we're going to keep the first one. Script page to have link, bookmark. And not the second one. And we'll go back. So that's making sure because it has a columns. Uh, okay. So let's run the delete bookmark spec now. Beep, 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 Where did I have more errors? What? I don't see all day are first bookmark. I do see it. Cool. Uh, let's get rid of that log statement. Where is it in my controller? In my model. Um, detail is still reference, that's why I tried to delete, yeah. Um, so when I go to the delete in the bookmark, um, and uh, Postgres delete dependent uh, records delete cascade uh, delete cascade just delete cascade delete cascade uh, this process table, then I try da, 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 da. how will you do it? Do the alt table add preferences from delete. Do we ha how will we establish this parent transformation of tables that in, in indicate we want to delete? Just show Interesting. Can I not do it during an actual delete command? No, you need to specify the table. Um, Alter table. I don't really have to do it. Um, I'll do a couple more. Google's now that I'm reading it. Yeah, I need to add it on delete cascade, alter table. Drop constraint, add constraint, foreign key. Okay, so I'm going to drop and add it. Okay, uh, let's add another one. Uh, never change previous migrations, always add more. Okay, so uh, alter constraint. Uh, delete cascade and this is for uh, bookmarks um, 
grab all this, go here, alter table, bookmarks, and da, 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 drop constraint. Um, bookmark ID. <clears throat> Why do they not just have like an easy one? Let's go to the actual docs, Postgres, and uh, uh, delete, and delete on cascade. No, alter constraint. It's not alter constraint, it's alter table drop constraint. Um, can I just alter constraint? No. Drop and then add. I just drop the column and add the column again. That's the cons that's the whole cons there's the whole column. Why do I want to drop the whole column? Drop constraint. Can I not just go and then add constraint? Let's try, it. I'm gonna try. Drop constraint and then the constraint name. Which is uh, I don't like this. I'm not really sure. I don't have visibility. Um, delete. Let's go back. Delete on cascade um, constraint. Why do why people just write terrible, terrible documentation? Drop the bookmark ID, and then we're going to add constraint. Bookmark ID. Um, do I need to redo it with references? Probably do because that is the constraint. References. Uh, 
bookmarks. Um, hold table comments, drop constraint, bookmark ID, add constraint, bookmark ID, references, bookmarks on the ID, and on delete cascade. Oh, a bit of a mouthful this one. Um, drop constraint, add constraint. Alter table comments, drop constraint bookmark ID, add constraint bookmark ID, and then references bookmark ID escape. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Got myself into a bit of a muddle here. Um, Ruby. Uh, DB. Migrations. Zero four. No environment specified. Rackenv. Is test. Add constraint. But what I do? And do I need to do integer first? That's, is that considered a constraint or a data type? I don't think that makes a difference. Oh, why is it so obtuse? Add constraint. Foreign. That, that doesn't automatically. Good. I just add it then. What is the constraint? I need to I need to get into it. I need to go into it. Here 
here we are, comments, bookmark, ID, key name, foreign key, on delete. <laughs> Comments but mark ID. Comments but mark ID foreign key. Alt table um, add constraint comments but mark ID foreign key add constraint comments but mark ID foreign key my brain is going to mush Did that work? Yay! It worked! Comments bookmark ID, take the foreign key constraint, drop, re edit, foreign table, foreign columns. Cool. Let's go. Jesus Christ, and let's do that with our development. Bloody hell. Okay, um, what was I even doing? It was a feature test for my delete spec. Uh, that, that is getting quite irritating so I'm not going to uh, database cleaner DB connection where are you DB connection in my lib folder where's my lib folder the DB connection but e error message Um, e, 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 at the moment, I want to know what you are. No. 
So where does this notice happen? What's happening here? And it's executing the query. The thing that is Let's Google this. Uh, stop Postgres Notice PG. Uh, I won't then. I'll leave it. I'll leave it running. Um, I don't like that. It's always running. But fine. I could just not print it. So if I get rid of the error catching, um, hey, no, still. PG error, connection execute. Error. So let's rack it up and have a look. Delete, yay. Next. Uh, we built a RESTful CRUD application managing bookmarks. Users can comment on bookmarks. To be the image transfers of many, many between bookmarks and a new resource called tags. In the domain major relationship, create a new table for tags, uh, create a join table. Uh, allow users to create tags for bookmarks, tags should have any bookmarks, but should have any tags like comments, you should be able to see all tags given to a bookmark. Unlike comments, you should be able to click on tag, see only bookmarks tagged with that tag. Um, so 
and let's write a feature test. Um, new folder called tags and here we are going to um, create uh, tags spec. Let's create all that and put it into here and we're going to create a bookmark and we are going to create two tags tag and tag two creating tags no we don't we're not going to create any tags we're just going to create a bookmark valid tag whatever it is can add a tag to a book and see it on the page the next one is uh, user can click on a tag to see all bookmarks with that tag. So we're going to create three bookmarks, two, three, and we go Google, and we're going to go. Um, reddit.com reddit google okay three bookmarks um, visit bookmarks fill in we're not filling in comments um, uh, we can add a tag to a bookmark and see it on the page so uh, this is at creation, so we're going to actually add tags and let's keep it super simple. Uh, which means we have to update a bunch. Do I really want to do this right now? <laughs> No, we're going to stop now and I'll do it in the morning.